Hey, what is going on, bros? Insomnia from the Mexican Gamers channel with some Battlefield 3 Rush on Grand Bazaar. And I'm using my ultimate favorite weapon setup. The ACWR, hollow sight, foregrip, and a suppressor. Man, I mean, you know, everyone has that one gun that they bust out when, when things get tryhardy. I mean, sure, you can bust out the M16. That's probably the most logical thing to do, right? The M16 being probably one, if not the best weapon in the game. But then this this, this one, man. I, I just feel really, really comfortable with this weapon. And this is my, my setup, man. With the suppressor, you, you can't go wrong, man. So, yeah, this is some, some rush. It, the gameplay gets pretty interesting because at some point, I believed we were about to lose. And we were probably were supposed to lose. But we made one last great push as a team. And... And you, you'll see what happens in the gameplay. This guy just owns me, man. He see forward me. I, I couldn't take him out in time with my M9 suppressed. Oh, yeah. By the way, yeah, my, my, my sidearm is also suppressed. Um, just to, to keep it stealthy. So this is my, my try hard slash stealth class, which, which, which is nice. So, yeah, man. I was thinking. And I was like, yo, you know what's going to suck? All these games, the, these big titles you're looking forward to, whether it be GTA 5, Battlefield 4, Call of Duty Ghost, FIFA 14, whatever you're interested in. You know, the, the, these titles are going to release before the next-gen console. So you got to make this decision, man. It, it's like, well, me personally, I want to play Battlefield 4. I, I, I want to play FIFA 14. FIFA 14 is releasing September 24th, I believe. That's a little bit over a month from now. And the next-gen consoles aren't going to be out yet. So that means... That either I have to make a decision whether I want to wait till I get my PS4. I don't know when. Late November probably. That's when the next gen consoles are rumored to come out. Um, late November. Do I want to wait till then so I can get uh, FIFA 14 on the next gen consoles? Am I really not going to get it for PS3 to save that money? But I mean let's say I do get FIFA 14. What about Battlefield 4? Battlefield 4 releases what, October 29th. I think that's still before the next gen consoles release. GTA 5 releases October uh, no September 17th. You know all these games are before the the next gen consoles and it's like you got to make this decision where whether you want to buy it, you know, you want to buy it for the current gen and then when you get the next gen console, you have to buy the game all over again. <laughs> so it's like man, that's a lot of money. You got to make that decision whether you want to be patient and wait and miss out and you see all the YouTube videos Everyone's playing the game. And you want to get your hands on it But you're still waiting on the Xbox one to release or the ps4 to release. You know what I mean? That's gonna suck man so, But I mean are you gonna be willing to spend the money twice? You know, are you gonna are you gonna drop $65 on GTA 5 and then when it comes out for for Xbox One, are you going to drop another 65 or 70 or whatever it's going to cost? You know what I mean? It's like, man, that's a lot of money. And then to do that for multiple games, such as let, let's say you're a big FIFA 14 fan or a FIFA fan. And but I mean, everyone's got to get GTA 5 man. everyone. That game is epic. Everyone's going to get that game pretty much. But then you're also a Battlefield fan. That's three games. That's three games that you're going to have to like probably get for the current gen. If you really, really want to get your hands on them, like I do. And then you're going to have to get them again when the next gen consoles finally release. And that, that's with the $500 or $400, depending on whether you buy an Xbox One or a PS4. You know, you're going to have to drop $500 for an Xbox One and $400 for a PS4. Then you still have to buy games for it. It's like, man, dude. I was thinking about it and I was like, damn, that's a lot of dolo. That's a lot of cash. Um, so yeah, I mean, what I'm curious because I don't think a lot of people have even talked about it. I guess a lot of people are are wealthy and rich and they they don't even. It's like, man, I don't even gotta worry about that. I got that, I got that settled, man. I know I'm gonna get get the the games twice for PS3 and for PS4, and you know that's that's not something that concerns me. But I it concerns me. I'm like, oh man, that, that's kind of it's a lot of money. You know what I mean? Especially because you want to have the the games. But look at the gameplay right now. Look at the gameplay. We had zero tickets and we actually pull this thing off. And I'm like trying my ass off to defend them, to keep them off the MCOM. Get off of that, baby. Come on. Hopefully it blows up already. I'm here like patiently waiting, kind of head glitching them right here, picking them off, picking them off. And they can't get me, baby. So we actually move on to the next set of MCOMs. I was pretty hyped, man, because I was losing faith in my team. But not complete faith. You know, I was still trying to push, trying to slay. Because I didn't start this game so hot, but I ended up turning up the heat. So, 
Yeah, bros. And I haven't heard a lot of people talk about this. And it was in the back of my mind. I was like, man, how, how is this going to work? I mean, because now video game companies, I heard EA talk about FIFA. You know, all your ultimate team players, like all your cards and stuff like that, they're going to transfer over to the next gen consoles. You know what I mean? Because since FIFA 14 is releasing on the current gen in a little bit over a month, and then, like, let's say you get a PS4, well, it's going to uh, transfer, you know, for free, I guess. So, you know, they're already talking about that. That means that you're going to have to buy the game twice, obviously. So th that got me thinking, man. I was like, well, I wonder how many people, you know, are going to buy every game on their radar. You know, whether it be GTA 5, Battlefield 4, whatever, whatever. Any game you want that's releasing before the next-gen consoles, are you going to get those games twice? That's my question to you guys. Leave it in the comments. I I'm really, really curious, honestly. I'm curious to see what people are going to do. Get pistol whip, baby. That almost turned ugly. I'm not even going to lie. I got a little bit nervous because I missed him. But then I, I ended up headshotting him. But yeah, but there we go. I mean, we struggled so much getting past that last set of MCOMs. And then this one was just a breeze, man. We played it so well. And I, I was proud of my team, man. I was proud of my team. I didn't end up with the, with the highest score in my team. I, I did join this game very, very late, though. I did join it very late. And I ended up with a pretty good... Pretty good score, and I think I did a good job of slaying and cleaning the MCOMs up, you know, being a, a distraction to the enemy team. But, bros, answer me that question. Are you going to get, you know, every game on your radar twice, or are you just going to wait, be patient, wait to the next-gen console release? Let me know in the comment section down below. A like would be appreciated. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, bros, and as always, take care.